Hi, I'm Jay Tan from the Aging Institute at the University of Pittsburgh. In this video, I will summarize our new study published in Ambo Reports about a conserved ion channel function of sting that mediates non-canonical autophagy and cell death. This work was spearheaded by Jing Ruixun and Bo Lu from my lab in collaboration with Zhi Chao Zhang and De Fen Lu from Guijun Shang's lab. The CGA sting pathway is a major innate immune pathway activated by abnormal cytosolic DNA exposure in many conditions. Sting refers to stimulator of interferon genes. As you can tell from its name, canonical functions of sting include the upregulation of interferons and inflammatory cytokines, mediated through TBK1 signaling. Sting also has non-canonical functions, such as non-canonical autophagy and sting-dependent cell death. However, it has been unclear how sting activates its non-canonical functions. The most studied non-canonical function of sting is non-canonical autophagy, which involves direct l cis reliptation onto single-membrane sting vesicles. Such l cis reliptation requires the VATPase protein pump, which directly recreates the ADG16 complex. The VATPase ADG16 axis is known to mediate non-canonical l cis reliptation in many other contexts, but it's unclear how sting activates the protein pump for l cis reliptation. The endolysosomes have high VATPase activity to maintain their acidic pH. While exploring whether sting triggers endolysosomal stress, we observed a sting-dependent lysofluorine pump deformation. Lysofluorine is a pH sensor, normally targeted to the late endosome and lysosomes, and its fluorescence is quenched by the acidic pH in these compartments. However, sting-induced lysofluorine puncta are not late endosome lysosomes. Instead, they are endosome-like vesicles, positive for endosome markers such as RAP5 and RAP11. Interestingly, these vesicles are also the major sites of sting-dependent l cis reliptation. Sting-dependent activation of lysofluorine signal is an indication of increased luminal pH, or deacidification of these vesicles, which is consistent with the activation of the proton pump for vesicle reacidification as well as l cis reliptation. So the question is, how sting increases the pH of its trafficking vesicles? To increase the luminal pH, proteins need to be moved out. In collaboration with Dr. Guijun Shang's group, we found that sting itself appears to be a protein channel responsible for protein release from these vesicles. Structure analysis revealed a ligand-induced channel in the transmembrane domain of sting, which allowed for protein flux in vitro by purified sting. The compound C53 is a unique sting ligand that binds to and fully blocks the transmembrane channel of sting. C53 not only blocks sting-mediated proton flux in vitro, but it also abolishes sting-dependent lysofluorine puncta formation in cells, leading to a full block of downstream l cis reliptation. Remarkably, C53 also fully blocks sting-dependent cell death. It is important to note that C53 can disrupt sting trafficking if added early on. To selectively block sting channel without affecting its trafficking, C53 should be added after sting arrives at the Golgi or post-Golgi vesicles. In summary, ligand binding activates sting trafficking from the ER through the Golgi to endosome-like acidic vesicles, where the channel of sting mediates proton efflux leading to vesicle deacidification. That is sensed by the proton pump VATPase to trigger l cis reliptation or non-canonical autophagy. Prolonged activation of the sting channel also triggers cell death, whereas blocking the channel of sting by compound C53 fully abolishes sting-dependent vesicle deacidification, l cis reliptation, and cell death leaving the canonical TBK1 signaling unaffected. Finally, we found that the ion channel function of sting is highly conserved, at least in humans, mice, and frogs. In conclusion, a conserved ion channel function of sting mediates non-canonical functions of the DNA sensing pathway. This discovery opens new opportunities for selectively targeting the canonical and non-canonical sting functions. I hope you enjoy reading this article. Please feel free to reach out for any questions. Happy New Year!